We, we had our Florida Strawberry Expo here. We had over 400 people in attendance from not just all over the U.S., but all over the world. And this was both growers as well as researchers that work on, on strawberry production. So we had our faculty here talking about the latest research that they've been working on on strawberry production to try to help our growers to stay competitive in a global environment. And what that entails is that we have faculty in various disciplines working together as a team for an interdisciplinary approach to help our growers. For example, we have horticulturalists here that are working on strawberry production like for protected culture to help grow berries when you have frost and you don't want to use as much water on them. So we work on tunnels here where they can grow berries in the tunnels where they have a warmer temperature. They're also not affected by wind and the fact that you're not having to put water on them, the berries look a lot nicer. You can also have earlier berries. And then we also have our entomologist here that's been working on different things as far as insect control, such as sap beetle control, and they've come up with ways to control that now to help our growers, because that was a serious issue in the past. Our strawberry breeder was talking about new variety that they will be releasing in the very near future that our growers have anxiously been awaiting. And, and these, this new variety will not only be grown in Florida, but will be grown in different countries such as Spain, so that it, they become very popular around the world as well. Our plant pathologist has just developed a new model that's being used by our growers now to help them to save on pesticide usage. So what, what this basically does is the model takes into account different climatic factors such as weather, humidity, wind, and it actually will send out a text message to our growers or it'll send out an email telling them what the conditions are and based on those conditions when they need to be spraying their berries. And the advantage of this is now you don't have to apply as many chemicals to berries and this will help save our growers money in, in less chemicals having to go out on berries. It also is a lot safer as well. And so in addition to the talks now, we, we have field tours that have gone on where they actually the growers are able to get out into the field and actually see the research that's going on. Now this was also done in partnership with the Strawberry Growers Association and Florida Fruit and Vegetable Association. We also work very closely with the various chemical companies and, and industry in general, and that's helped to financially support the event and they these vendors now have had the opportunity to also demonstrate what they have available to help our growers to stay competitive as well so it's kind of a true partnership